back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video. I'm going to be trying out some hourglass makeup for the first time. Um, I've never actually tried hourglass and I've always wanted to try their um, uh, foundation, their Banish foundation stick because I've never received so many requests um, to do a review on a foundation. Um, but I never got around to like trying them and recently I was invited to the uh, Hourglass counter in Liberties in London and I got to meet their lead global artist Chanel Temple, she was absolutely lovely and she did my makeup and everything that she used on me and um, they kindly sent to me. So yeah, I'm just going to be trying it out myself for the first time. I'm so, so excited. Like, literally, I've had this um, to the side for a couple of days and I just keep staring at it and wanting to play with it. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be trying it out. By the way, my top is from Primark. Earrings are from Primark, in case you guys ask. They were like £2. They're so pretty, I think. My skin does feel a little bit dry, so I'm going to try one of their primers they sent me. It is their primer serum. I haven't tried this yet on my face, but... When I put it on my hand, it's not so lovely and it feels really nice on the skin as well. So I'm really excited to try this. This is what the primer looks like. It comes in this super luxurious glass bottle and you just pump it out. It kind of is like a gel formula. See, that feels so nice. It's so hot. It's so hot right now. Especially with that light right over my head. Trust me, it's hot. Okay, so far so good on this. It feels super nice on the skin. I do want to pop some of their mineral primer on top because this has SPF. Okay, so basically they do have a, another, I believe, um, primer, but the one that was used on me, they demonstrated it and it actually makes your makeup like waterproof, like if you put water and I wanted to try it with water, but this is not one that is um, waterproof, but it's fine, we're still going to try out the makeup, um, but they did show me on counter, like once they sprayed water on it, like the water just sits on the makeup, like it doesn't sink through your room, it doesn't like interfere with the makeup at all, so that was kind of cool to see. Um, so this is their Veil Mineral Primer, it's oil free and has SPF 15 in there. I'm just gonna pop this all over. Oh my god, my skin feels so soft. What? I think I am gonna tie my hair up because it's boiling. It's actually boiling right now. Oh, that's that's just so much better. Okay, those two primers together feel really nice. But oh my god, definitely a thumbs up for those two primers. What are we gonna do next? Oh yeah, we said brows. <laughs> So I'm going to use their brow sculpting pencil in dark brunette. The brow pencil looks really, really nice. So this is what the brow pencil looks like. It's definitely one I would go for. It's got that arc slanted kind of vibe and it has a spoolie on the other end. Okay. watching TV. I'm just gonna do the other side. This was I just literally filled my brow in in like two seconds. So this is my favorite brow but when Chanel was doing my brows she said this one was her favorite one which is so weird. Maybe because she she was doing my makeup so this one's a bit easier. This one's the one that gives me so much trouble. This thing fills my brows in so nicely. Love the brow pencil. I'm just gonna quickly put some brow gel. Okay, so now onto the exciting part. I'm gonna try the foundation. I'm so excited. So this is the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. I've heard so many people talk about it. I believe I've been matched to the shade Honey. So this is what the foundation looks like. I mean, that seems okay, to be honest. And I think she also gave me the shade Gold and Tan, which I believe is lighter, and she used that under my eyes to highlight. Yeah, that's a bit lighter. So yeah, Honey is definitely, definitely my shade. She matched me pretty well, to be honest. Okay. So she just went all over. I 
just wanna be me. I just wanna be free. It's definitely blending like really nicely. Forehead. To be honest, I don't really need that much product on my forehead. Okay, so I'm now going to use the shade Honey under my eyes, just to highlight, just to on the forehead. That's a nice warm colour as well. Might put a little bit on my eyelids. Just going to use my Beauty Blender, my Morphe Beauty Sponge. Just blend that all out. Okay, so now we're going to try the new Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It looks like this. This comes in this packaging like so, and you can open it. It definitely looks very, very pretty. It comes in this gold kind of like, I don't even know what to call it, but it's just this gold piece here, and there's little holes in it, and the powder comes through the holes where you just need to tap it slightly, and it just kind of comes out, really. So I'm just going to blend this out quickly. And then we're going to set, I'm just going to use my sponge. Wow. I don't know what it's doing, but it kind of like instantly makes your skin look, I don't know. It makes your skin look really soft. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush all of that powder off. Put some around my mouth, because that's why I get really sweaty. I'm gonna take a small brush, like a flat one, and with the golden, what is it? Golden tan shade, I'm just gonna clean up my brows. Okay, I'm kind of liking the powder to be honest the powder is really nice and on the day I did wear the makeup for the whole day and my makeup sat really nicely throughout the day so I don't know how many times I've said day there but yeah it definitely holds your makeup in place I'm going to use their radiant bronzer this is their radiant bronzer light I don't know if it's going to be dark enough no it works kind of smells nice Bronzer is really important to me to just to bring colour back to my face. So they've also given me their ambient blush in incan incandescent incandescent Electra. It's a really pretty like bright pinky shade. Chanel did recommend to blend the blush into my bronzer because of the shape of my cheeks. Okay, so we're going to go on to eyes. They gave me their graphic eyeshadow palette in Vista, which looks like this. But I am going to quickly use a shade as a highlight because you know your girl has to have some highlights. So as a highlight that definitely worked, it's super pretty and just a natural luminescence of the skin. Yeah, my skin is done, we're going to move on to the eyes using the same eyeshadow palette and I think I'm going to go in with this really like, no first I'm going to go in with my transition shade. I'm going to use this shade first, this chocolatey brown. I'm then going to take this beautiful gold right here. It's kind of like a deep gold. But she did put this all over my lid and it looked so pretty. I'm 
Also, I'm going to use that same shade that we use as a highlighter on the lid just to kind of like bring some more light to that area. It's pretty. I'm going to use some of that chocolatey brown again on my lower lash line. Okay, so she did also use some eyeliner on me. This is the Mechanical Gel Eyeliner in Obsidian. And it's just those classic twisty ones, but they're so precise. It's literally tiny. Tiny. Put this on my... Oh my goodness. I just made my lash line go jet black. Just watch this. Can you guys see that? I've never had an eyeliner that does that on my lash line. She did do some eyeliner on my lid, but I think I'm going to leave it like this today. And I'm just going to apply a bunch of mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so then finally I have one of their lip stylos. Stylos, I think that's how you say it in English. But in French you would say stylo. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I can't say like, if I see a French word or a French kind of word, I have to say it in the French accent rather than the English one. So this is what their lipstick looks like. This is in the shade Achiever and it's actually very close to my natural lip colour. Like when I wear this, it just looks like my lip, like something that I put on my lips with is very like my natural lip colour and I've never really found something like this. Okay, get ready guys. Look at that. It is kind of like a shiny lip product. I just love this colour so much. This is such a natural look for me, but I think the skin is definitely like flawless. But the eyes are just super sultry but natural and the lip, I think it just goes all together. Here's just a quick close-up of my um, mouth area. Alright, so my final thoughts on the products are... Most of them are really, really good. I, um, to be honest, I'm really happy with everything. The bronzer is very, very pretty. The eyeshadow palette is actually really nice. The shadows are quite pigmented and blend very easily. Um, and just a quick swatch of the black. Like, literally. You know, that's a real, real black. Uh, the powder is actually really nice. When I did go to the counter and wore the makeup throughout the rest of the day, my makeup stayed on really well. The under eyes were really nice with the powder. Um, the foundation actually really works as a highlight and just to conceal, but I would say if you have like really dark circles, then probably the foundation won't be enough. Um, but overall, like on the skin, the foundation is so beautiful. I did get a little bit of smile lines, you know, like just... I mean, it wasn't perfect with the smile lines, but... To be honest, it was fine. It looked really nice everywhere else. I just have to, like, bake around my mouth when I do wear this foundation. The primers are so beautiful. Like, they feel so luxurious and they make your skin feel so soft. And I think that's what really helped my foundation just stay so nice throughout the day. Uh, what else? The lip is actually something I feel like I'm going to keep in my purse always. I definitely love the brow pencil. What else did I use? The blush is, is really pretty. I mean, it doesn't really stand out to me, but... You know, nevertheless, it's still a really pretty, like, blush. The packaging of all these products are just freaking amazing. Um, and I think that's it, guys. I've definitely had a really good experience trying all these products and, you know, playing around with them. Um, I'm really, really liking the foundation. Thank you to Chanel for trying all these bits on me. And thank you to Rebecca and Natalie for sending all these bits over for me to try out. Um... If you have any questions about the foundation or anything else, let me know. I am definitely the shade Honey. So today's post notification shout out goes to Marble Rose Blogs. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye!